everyone! It's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to my channel. Today I have some happy mail to share with you. I just received some packages uh, from FedEx and I'm very excited because I've been waiting for this. Um, and uh, well, let me show you what I got. So in box number one, <laughs> as you can see, maybe it's a little far away. It says it's from Cricut, and as a lot of you may already know, I am a blogger for uh, the company Cricut that makes all the Cricut products. So I am very fortunate that they send me products and tools to work with for uh, the blog posts and videos that I make for them. So uh, they sent me this. This is a box that... <laughs> contains the Cricut Easy Press. Well, actually, I took it out already because it would not be this light, but I took it out. And I will show you what that is. So this is the box that you would see in uh, the stores like Michael's. Uh, this is the Cricut Easy Press. Now, I will get to what this is exactly in a moment. And the other box, I have another package here also from Cricut. And of course it has to do with the Easy Press. And that is, da -da -da, it is the Cricut Easy Press Mat. Let me show you that. Okay, so this is a mat. Now the Cricut Press is a heat press. That's what it is. It's basically a heat press. I'll show you the sides here of the box. Okay, so uh, you use this like any other type of heat press or like an iron. So this is great for all those iron on projects that you may want to make. And I'll show you here. There's another picture in the back of the box. That is what the Easy Press looks like. There is a base for it to sit in. Okay. Now, I'm going to open the actual box so I could show you the actual tool. One of these big boxes, totally brand new. So, if you purchase an Easy Press, it would come in the same box and packaging uh, that mine did and you need to take it out pretty easy here is I imagine this is the press all wrapped up this is the base for the press and there's lots of packaging to make sure it doesn't you know get broken in the shipping and there's this uh, package here, where, and big envelope, uh, and there's the cricket symbol, and it says, let's do this. So I imagine that that's like the instructions of how to set up the machine or how to, how to use it properly. It's always good to read those instructions before you start using it. So, so let me read to you a little bit of what it says on the box. It says that if... It's the speed of a heat press, the convenience of an iron. That's right, people. I don't iron my <laughs> clothes. I use, I use a heat press and an iron when I want to craft or so, but I don't iron clothes. I, just, I, don't like I don't like ironing and I don't like windows. I don't like to clean windows. I just don't. Okay, so this is the heat press. This is what it looks like. So you can see it has a non-stick surface, really shiny, and you do not want to touch this when it's plugged in and it's hot because you will burn your hand off. And this is what it looks like on the top. So this gives you an idea of how big it is. So imagine that you want to make some sort of iron-on for a t-shirt or some home decor perhaps well this allows you to press on the uh, iron-on material onto the t-shirt let's say and you get like an immediate 
immediate you get the heat immediately and the contact and the, the pressing and the gluing all in one action you just push it down and uh, follow the instructions because it will depend on the type of fabric you have and um, to know which kind of heat what t you know level of heat that you need there is a, a timer on here there are digital controls the timer and digital controls it's not plugged in now because I would not be able to hold it up like this if it was plugged in so I will uh, attempt to use this I will I will be using this I do have a project to make and that project is going to be on uh, my blog and probably in another video so uh, This is how you would use the Cricut Press. You would store it in this when you're not using it, like so. And this is the mat. It is like the board that you use to um, apply the heat to your project. I don't know if I can show it to you here on top of this box. Okay. So this is the mat, the Cricut Heat Press mat. Okay, and you would not you would not be using it like this, but this is just for demonstration purposes. When it's heated to the right temperature, you just you would have your project here, your iron on on the t-shirt, the let's say, and you would just press it down. And there you go. So um, it's just very efficient. It's very quick. Um, and so I look forward to playing some more with the, the Cricut Easy Press and the Cricut Easy Press mat. And you can see here there's a t-shirt that's been ironed on. There's some iron on. To easily make some uh, personal iron on uh, t-shirts, aprons, cushion covers, you name it. I just have to go on my computer, go into uh, Cricut.com and go into design space, select uh, a design, like there's even projects that are ready to go for you, and uh, just select what I would like to do, send the click, 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 and the computer sends the information to the Cricut. I load a mat with the iron-on material on the mat, put it in the Cricut, and the Cricut does the rest. It cuts everything out, I take it off, and then I use the lovely uh, Cricut Easy Press with the Cricut Easy Press mat, and I make iron-on t-shirts or whatever kind of project I want to make. So I will have uh, another video to show you exactly how this works and how how I've done it now I've made some projects and there will also be another video with a specific project for uh, next and the next little while so stay tuned uh, there's more video to see how exactly this easy press works how it actually uh, makes an iron-on material stick to a fabric so let me show you how we use this Easy Press from Cricut. Now it's brand new, it just came out of the box. There I'm showing you the Easy Press mat. So it's a iron safe surface, it protects the surface underneath. And this is the package that comes within the box with the new Easy Press. It says let's do this and there are instructions inside. So now I'm just pushing it aside just so I can show you. Uh, remember to open up this little package that you have. Uh, there by, the instructions are trilingual. I'm just going to take out the English ones for now. And it also comes with this little sample of fabric and a glitter iron-on piece. That way you can uh, practice using the Easy Press yourself. There is a quick reference chart which is really important to read so you know exactly how long to uh, set your easy press to what temperature to set it at and for how long to preheat the fabric how long to press the iron on to the fabric and how long to 
uh, press the backing usually of, of the project if when it's required. So uh, now I'm showing you that. Of course, you need to plug it in. That's really important. So I've plugged it in. I turned it on by pressing the button. It's flashing there. That's the temperature that's flashing. It is uh, available in uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit. You just have to press the temp, but temp button twice to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius and uh, vice versa. And there is a timer button also, which I have setting there. So the, I believe if I remember correctly, the recommendations were like 340 degrees for 20 seconds. So that is what I'm doing. And it, as you can see right there, if you look all the way to the left where the little clock is, uh, you can see, yeah, there, there you go. You can see the temperature is slowly rising because it is preheating and it will beep when it is at the right temperature. So I've fast forwarded a part of this because really I don't know if you want to see it preheat. All right, so it's ready for me to preheat the fabric. And I didn't set the timer on the preheat uh, part because it was less than 20 seconds. And so I just kind of counted what was needed uh, in time to preheat. Now I'm placing the glitter iron-on a little teacup that was provided uh, with the kit. And I put it with the shiny side facing up. The shiny side is the liner. Put the easy press on. I press the little green cricket button there and the timer goes counts down it's from the 20 seconds I just I just keep the easy press there for that 20 seconds when it's done it'll flash back to 20 and it will also beep so you uh, are aware that it's it's ready now it's very hot but it's okay to to touch it and now we have to flip it over. I'm just showing you that uh, underneath the mat, my counter is, is fine. It's, it's not hot, it's not melted. The mat does a good job of protecting my, my surface underneath. Now, according to instructions, I need to uh, press for five more seconds on the back of the project, which is what I'm doing. I've, now I've set the timer to five seconds, it counts back, it's done, it beeps, it goes back to five seconds, and there I'm just showing it a little longer than necessary so you can see it. And now the important thing is to let the project cool down completely because Cricut recommends that for their product, for the glitter iron-on and for some other iron-ons and it will just read the instructions that come on with the easy press or go to cricut.com and look for easy press uh, iron-on instructions now i have to wait till it completely cools down because cricut recommends a cold peel so um that is what I'm doing, and then I'm just, I just keep checking because I want to peel it back. So what happened next is that the battery on my camera uh, had died, of course. So I went ahead and peeled back the liner and revealed the little cup. So uh, before I noticed that the camera had died and I threw off the liner. So here I just showed you with the liner piece from another project that I so did. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would so appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, until next time, stay crafty. Bye.